and it tends to be self-limiting and doesn't spread particularly well, which is one of the reasons why it's not encountered very often in the Western world, at least. Alberta confirming its first case of monkeypox Thursday afternoon, two weeks after the first cases were found in Canada. Questions arising about what this virus means for Canadians and will it be similar to the coronavirus outbreak? Virologists saying people can rest easy. The situation is very different. Monkeypox is part of the orthopox virus family, considered endemic in parts of West and Central Africa, carried mainly by small rodents. Transmission can happen through close contact to lesions and bodily fluids. Evans saying it's not nearly as infectious as other diseases like COVID-19. Occasionally they will transmit it to one family member or someone they're in close contact with. Very, very rarely might it go one step further. This upsurge in cases is on a larger scale than previous surges of the virus. Evans saying current cases are connected to each other, presumably from a large social event in Spain or Portugal. The recent uptick has the World Health Organization looking to bolster surveillance of the virus in countries where it is endemic, something Evans says has previously been a blind spot for Western countries. And it's one of those diseases that we neglected our parallel peril, we, we say, oh, well, we don't really have it or it's so minor, we don't need to worry about it. And yet, because we haven't done anything to help the countries where it's endemic uh, with our vaccines and drugs that we've been developing over the last 20, 30 years, um, we continue to face this risk of a periodic importation of the disease from those those places. 58 cases have been confirmed across Canada since May 19th in Alberta and Ontario with most cases in Quebec. 25 other non-endemic countries also reporting cases as well as five countries where it is considered endemic. People who remember some of the discussions around COVID may remember something called the uh, the R0, the reproduction number. This virus has a R0 which is quite probably less than one which means it tends to burn out pretty quickly. Evans saying those close to a confirmed case should speak with their physician. And for the rest of us... Pay attention to other more relevant threats like uh, traffic accidents and stuff like that. In Calgary, Jillian Code, City News.